Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a simple 12 to 220 volts DC to AC inverter based on the TIP142 bipolar power transistors. The heart of the circuit is this relaxation oscillator made up of these DC549 transistors. In place of this you can use the DC547, 2N3904 and also the 2N2222 transistors. With the resistors R1 and R2 equal and capacitor C2 and C1 equal, the duty cycle will be about 50% on time for both of the DC549 transistors. The resistors and their wattage are shown. The R1 and R2 you can use quarter or half watt, R4 and R3 1 watt, R6, R5 2 watts and R7, R8 5 watts. When the circuit is spanned on, one of the transistors will conduct fast due to certain differences in their structural makeup and even due to circuit differences. Let's say transistor Q1 conducts fast the capacitor C2 will start discharging through the base of the transistor Q1 and once the voltage at this point gets below 0.7 volts, it will turn off. But while Q1 was on, there will be a ground reference at this point and current will flow out of the base of the B240 transistor through the 330 ohms resistor. When this happens, because this is PNP, current will find its way from the 12 volt rail through the B240 transistor through R7 through the base of the TIP142 Q5 and it will conduct allowing a much larger current to flow from the zero volt supply through the winding S4, S2 through the transistor Q5 into ground. This is the first half cycle. Once Q1 has turned off due to the voltage at this point getting below its turn on voltage of about 0.7 volts, the second transistor Q2 will conduct, capacitor C2 will start changing again and C1 will start discharging through the base of the transistor Q2. When this is on, there will be a ground reference here and current will flow out of the base of the B240 transistor Q4, turning it on. A much larger current will flow into the base of the transistor Q6 from the 12 volts rail and it will turn it on, allowing an even much larger current to flow from the 12 volts supply through the winding S4, S3, through the transistor Q6 and to ground. This completes the first oscillation. The frequency is set by the parameters of the resistors R2, R1, capacitor C1 and C2. Ensure that the resistors are equal as well as the capacitors and with the values as 27 kilo ohms and 407 nanofarads, the frequency will be about 50 Hz. The transformer should have a figure of 12 volts, 0 volts and 12 volts output and an input of 220 volts. When you use this in reverse, it should invert 12 volts to 220 volts AC. You can in-pen salvage one from an old microwave and make your own windings and adjust them to any voltage that you want. This transistor can output about 150 watts. This fuse should be rated at the maximum current of your transistors to ensure that in case there's a short circuit, none of these transistors get damaged. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. If so, make sure to give it a like, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice time.